absolutely beautiful day in San Diego. Actually, East County. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. I'm on my way to sell a car to Universal Pictures. I actually sold one to one of the studios a while back for the OJ movie last year. I don't even know if it's been a year. Some wrestler with a restoring show. There's been about eight or nine to different kind of cool things, I guess you'd say. I'm going to do a what movie is it for contest to see if anybody can guess the movie it's for. So I'll do a video like that. God, you're crawling there, buddy. Oh, really old guy. I'm going to speed limit. So I'm going to put one of them up, but then I'm going to put this video up as a work vlog type thing. And we'll see how that all turns out. Yeehaw. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. I'm hoping that my cars didn't get moved anymore. Or we could have a problem. That's going to be tight. Let's see what we come up with here. Trailer. She hears me going towards them dogs. She don't like that. That's the one I need. However, cool, we got a key in here. Wow, this center console is worth money, especially since that's not broken. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Yep, that has to come out. This is a clean car. Okay, this is the one we're getting rid of, though. Clean car as well. But this one's got, has it got all four tires up? Oh, that would be awesome, and it rolls right back. Oh, man. Holy hell, all four tires are up? You can't beat that. Well, now we just wait. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. I'm here to do a walk around. He's cleaned it up a lot. He's not doing junk cars no more. Interesting. He got rid of most of his junk. Kind of sad. Someone's trying to get a hold of it. Might as well look at the old Jeep that's here. Got a little cougar. Kind of bassy. You can never tell the years on these. Especially if they don't have the wood. Well, it's clean inside. Wow. Someone was redoing it or something. It's all here. It ain't no rust, man. <laughs> Who knows what year. Maybe it'll stay. I think it's an 83. Wow. Oh, 192. Fucking truck. That just sucks. They welded that on top. Folded that into the top. Well, I don't think anyone's here. Well, I'm sure there is over there somewhere. But I don't really give a shit about talking to them. Well, let's see if he's here now.
Not looking like a yes. It's looking more like a no. Well, there we go. That's probably some news about this. No, this is the first American title. Hello. Hi, is this Nathan? Yeah. Hey, Nathan, it's Nissa calling from First American Title. How are you? Goodness, how are you doing? Not too bad. Oh, almost Friday. <laughs> almost Friday. Um, so, in regards to a closing for you, the way it typically works down in California, um, we can likely find a title company that we could get you in with, and what they typically do is they have a mobile notary come in to their title company. They kind of, we can send documents to the title company, um, and they will um, just kind of allow us to use the space, and the notary would come in, so you would just meet with a notary in one of the offices there, and they can notarize everything for you. Um, that's typically how it's done in California. Um, there is usually a fee for that, and it definitely varies. I'd say most common it falls right around $150. I can just have them sent to me and I can go to the bank and get them notarized. Do you want to do that? Okay. Then do you want me to just email it to that uh, email address that we have for you that I emailed you on yesterday? Sure. Okay, perfect. We'll just get those out. Um, I'll let Chris, if she's working up the file, I will let her know that's the plan. And then, obviously, if you're when you're going through the documents and finding anything, if you have questions on anything, there's definitely tons of people here that can help you answer any questions um, if you have questions as you go through it. So, and if you get stuck on anything, call us when you're finding them. At what point do I hear about or make some choices on the trust indenture? Um... Well, I believe this, oh, that's a good question because I don't actually work that part up. So, well, you're, you're the you're the first. This is the first contact I've had besides the email since I've seen you. So, I mean, I just want to make sure that's all in order and make sure everything matches what I'm. Yeah, the file. I don't have the file anymore. It's actually with a closer getting worked up. The buyers came in yesterday and chatted with us, and they scheduled an appointment. He's coming in to sign tomorrow, so we can get. Your closing stuff sent out. I don't work the note and trust indenture part up. That's just not part of what I do. That's a, one of the escrow closers' jobs. Um, so I will see where she's at with that because I just kind of one of those things. Once the file leaves my desk, I don't know exactly where they are in the process of the oh, things like that. I know. I know. It's wait, 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 wait. One thing is that's not a little thing to me. It's the biggest thing, and that's exactly. I, no, I understand. Um, but I just, um, I guess Nathan. I thought most of the terms were in there, so if there was questions on anything, that's what I said they could clarify with you. Obviously, that is the most important piece of this transaction. I'm not going to short that. No, no, um, I, I, I didn't think you were. I'm just, I, I just get all freaky. I'm like, wait, 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 my money, how do I get it? How do I get it? I'm not trying to be all rude to you or nothing. Sure, no, no, no. Let me, actually, let me get you to Chris, because she's the one that's working that transaction up. So hang tight for just a second, and I'll get you to, um, her name's Chris. So hold on one moment. And that's pretty much it. That's, you'll send me papers, and I'll talk to you then. It's basically the next step, huh? Yes. Okay. Um, hold on just one moment. I'm going to, um, I just want to give her a little heads up on what your question is. So hang tight. I'm going to put you on hold for just a minute and I'll send her a quick IM and um, have her pick you up. The so trust, is the trust indenture done? Is that is that already in the papers you're going to send or what? It will be in there. I'm not sure. That's where I'm not sure where she's at with, with getting that prepared. So that's... Um, Okay. That's where she can answer that a little bit. More. That's 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 <laughs> no, and the, and the main thing the main thing I'm worried about is I made some extra um, whatever you call them concessions for him to where it was a little bit nicer and a little bit and I'm just wanting to make sure that part gets in there to where he's not feeling. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Um, There's some special just, things, but cool. You know, if if she has a qu question, just have her call me. Give her the heads up. She might hear what you're saying and go, "Oh yeah, this thing's a mess. I need to talk to him." She might know exactly what she's doing. I don't give a shit. Whatever. You guys know what you're doing. I know that. I just, I'm just wanting to make sure that them little special things get in for him because he, he'll catch it if not and want to be, and I will too. I just want to make sure it's done right. So cool. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just, I'll chat with her briefly and then we'll just give you a call back. Um, and if there were some changes to the terms of that, I'll just, there was an addendum. Is that what you were talking about? We did get an addendum when the, when, um, Trinan, Trinan? 
Does that have been Trinan? Yeah, that, that was that, that, wrong. that was with the original. It's just he took the original, so the packet I turned in didn't have it. So we had to get that one in there. I was giving him two months rather than one month or whatever. Was that one? But there, okay. and the rest is just pretty simple. Ten-year balloon and. Here's the interest rate, which is in there. I mean, she if she can pick that out of it, I, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a call. That sounds good. Okay, Nessa. Thanks so much, Nathan. Thank you. Mm. Have fun. Bye. Drivers in Alpine and getting turned back around. Three minutes ago. Okay, so the driver called and he said he would be there in 20 to 25 minutes. And that was at 1240. Samantha immediately called me. I immediately got my butt out the door and got up here. At 12.40, I left. Well, excuse me. At about 12.58, I knew this guy would be late. Here's what we got. So, as you can see, his one o'clock show-up time is a little off. You realize these have 90 pounds of pull nowadays? back. She said he was pulling in the gate. So, you expect that he's in the gate. He's not in the gate. He's nowhere to be found in here. Maybe he kept going. We shall look for him. That's... That text was from a long time ago, Samantha. He's not pulling in the gate. He's nowhere to be found. Yes, sir. He is nowhere to be found inside this gate. Where did you tell him to go? What yard, Samantha? Why do you gotta give me an address like I even know the address? What fucking yard? Well, now I'm driving up to the other yard to go get the driver, hopefully, because Samantha doesn't know the address of my yard and gave him the wrong address. I can't believe this. It's like running around. Yeah, it's definitely this address she gave him. For fuck's sake. You know, all I can do is try and do my job. And it seems like every time I do, I've got somebody fucking everything up. Are you looking for a Buick? Huh? Are you looking for a Buick? Yeah. It's down the road. Yeah, you got this address for me. Huh? I got the this address. I've got another one for you. <laughs> Let's go. Seems like a nice guy. Okay, back for like a fifth time. And this time it's our fault. He got the wrong address. So we're sitting in the wrong place. Now he's behind me. And we'll see how he likes us. Okay, we'll see what's up. You might want to pull up here and take a look at it with me, where it is. You might want to take a look at where it is. 
Don't think he understands much English. Hell, I don't either. Well, here we go. Hey! Hey! You wanna look at this or what? I gotta get going, bud. I've been waiting for you for an over an hour. I gotta get going, okay? Beach bomb. We gonna take a look at this or what? Let's do it. It doesn't seem like you're paying attention. I, I told him your boss. She needs to hang up. Just get rid of her. She's just causing a problem now. It's this car, but we gotta pull this one out of the way. So I've got this and I can yank it out of the way if you can steer that car. And then after, if you can't back in, I'll pull that one out too for you. But it's the white one that Chris is getting, I guess. We can't push it out. We can't push it. We can try. This is easy. We sure can try. Oh, I bring the chair, put it there and there. But that's what this is, man. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather pull it than push it. <laughs> you going neutral? Yeah. Okay. This should be interesting. You want me to pull the other one out or you think you can back in there? I think, I I think so too. This sucks, they just put it here. Yesterday, not there. It's this one, yeah. No, it's this one. This is not the driver, but... No. Okay, let's just put it right here. Uh. I don't even know if I can get out. Yeah. And I have paperwork for you, but... So we're gonna do that right now. And you got money for me. So... We'll do all that. Oh shit, that's still a long ways away. Maybe. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna fill out the right side of the purchase agreements. What are we putting the buyer name in? Hello? Oh, uh, the driver is putting his name and signing it, and that's what Chris wanted done. Okay. Uh, and then can you text me a picture of that after you are done with that? And the price is four ninety five and sixty five. Yeah. Uh, that's about the only 
initial? For non running, yeah, just initial. And sign hunt print. You do this a lot for the studios? Yeah. I'll bet you they go through a lot of cars. How many? Only 50 cars. 50, huh? Five sixty. Oh, yeah. Huh. Then you talk, I go to this. Okay, help me push this real quick. Help me give it a push. Okay, I will do it. Okay. Samantha, how much was it? Four ninety-five plus sixty-five. He doesn't seem to know about the the fee. Chris says the fee is the money for it. Chris said he gave for five five fifty or five five sixty. Can't count. I can't get this. Hang on. Yeah, man, it's supposed to be 560. Call Chris. Call Chris? Okay. No, he's gonna call. He'll call Chris. Oh. I'm calling you. You're saying it's 560. Her and Chris said 560. Her and Chris said 560. So I guess call Chris, whatever. I'll get out of your way. Sorry. Okay, he's gonna call Chris. I'm not all too worried about it, one way or the other, but definitely wanna get what's due here if we can get it. Yep. If not, I don't really care, whatever. Um, I got a guy on the other line about people. Bye. Do you want me to bye. Bye. Okay, bye. What? How am I going to get out? I don't know. I'd use your steering okay. capabilities and go that way. I'll get it out of here one sec. I'd use your steering capabilities, bud. I really, really would. Freaking junk cool car. What a cool junk car. 59,000 original mile Buick Regal. Now some of these vlog videos get long. That is life. Let me get... Okay, I'll wait. loading video. Why not? I'm here. That's why they get long sometimes. Sometimes, Why turn it off? It's the process. Uh. You got a hold of him? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Okay, man, thank you. Have a good day, sir. I'll wait in case you need anything. You ain't gonna need anything. You're a professional. You know what you're doing. I can tell. You 
Oh, I'm gonna, I want to get a picture. I like seeing him on the truck. I got a guy a couple months ago, it's his second time ever using one of these. Took him like two hours to load the car. <laughs> Gotta learn sometime. 25 years. 25 years? I gotta pick up the Bonneville later this week and take it out of here. It's going to Chatsworth. So it'll be two junkers gone from this lot. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got fifteen cars here. It's not that many. It is not that many, and yeah, some of them are just absolute junk. That looks good. I don't think they're a G body by this year. I'm not as keen on the chassis names and models of a GM car, but I don't think they're a G body at this. I'm gonna have to ask. Check out um, Brian Scooter, S U T E R, but more known as the classic G body garage on YouTube. He has some awesome videos on here. I want to get one all leveled out and all the way forward. Done deal. The guy's good. Look for this in the new Tupac movie. <laughs> All eyes on me, I guess is what it's called. I did a little Googling. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna take off. Have fun! Got my 60 bucks extra. Try and rip me off out of 60 bucks. I need my 60 bucks to pay to, to feed breeder. How are we gonna feed breeder? Come here. Let's go, baby. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check that out for all kinds of old classic cars in a lot better shape than that one I just sent out. Although that was a 50, 55, 59,000 mile original mile. One owner car, original pink pink slip from 88, actually, with that car. Um, so that's that. That's what I've got done. Uh, moving on out, moving on up cars. The work vlogs are going to be different because I won't be working with as many people, but I will have some new people coming through at some point because it's just the nature of the business. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Over 3,000 of them on my channel. And that's that. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll talk to you. Read it out. Nice guy and all that, but this is what you're looking at. Even if they're a nice guy and know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's 308. 308. I started this at 1240. 1240. That's two and a half hours, essentially to drive 20 minutes away to a place that a guy told me he was there in 20 minutes. So, you know, they all lie and that's the thing. I need to just plan on that. And don't leave until they call up going, where the fuck are you at? Yeah, will that be too late for you for that stuff tomorrow? No, I'm just now gonna, getting out of Lakeside back to the other yard anyways. I'm not gonna drive over there at this time of night. That'd be, that'd be suicide. Yeah. Yeah. So Ed got in the truck and he said it's just a thing that says in and out. 
And I think that's what it is. I said his brand, put it up by the Jaguar with the hatchet. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just that little thing. So far, by the time I get home, it's going to be two hours and 40 minutes. What did you do? Did you stop and have a poke? No, man. You just end up waiting around and they're not really there. And then you, I find, finally I'm out of gas. Because, so I go get gas and then like, he's still not there. And jeez. Yeah. Then you got to move a car. It's always the same thing, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're always... Well, we'll be there at 1, and it's 1.30 or 2 or... I've been thinking, I just need to wait until they call me up mad because I'm not there. I uh, guess. <laughs> that too. Uh, yeah. I'm just not rude like that. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. But... Holy hell. Oh, I did order some cool stuff, didn't I? That's right. Yeah, the bottom one. Huh? What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, wow! Oh my god. That is just too much, man. Too much. This is too much, dude. That's, this is, this is crazy. Wow. Holy wow. Dude spent $33. Jason Scott on YouTube. I don't know if I'm connected to him on Facebook, but I'm glad I was recording. Fuck, dude. Jason Scott, what the hell, man? $33.95 to send this fucker. USPS Retail Ground. They really stuck it to him. And like, for shit's sake, man. Dude, thanks. I don't even know what to say, dude. This is beyond... Yeah, this is fucking just amazing. I mean, basically I have a broken buffer. And one of my subscribers commented on it and said, Hey, what piece is it you're missing? la di da da Next thing you know, he calls up and talks to Samantha, and now I get home, I forgot. I didn't forget, I knew, because he sent a message on um, YouTube, I think it was. You know, I lose track, and then I, yeah, I lose track of the messages. It's getting crazy to keep track of. Basically, in the end, the dude spent 35 bucks to send me a buffer parts thing here that he says has the part I need on it. Dude! Thank you! I can't... I don't have the words. I don't even know what to say. I can say a bunch of adjectives, adverbs, and little things around it or whatever they are. But I just don't know what to say for somebody... That's awesome. To be... I'm... I'm... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you is about all I know of that I can say. I'm touched. I'm touched all right. Man, I'm touched. It's just... I don't even know what to say. Not like a little boy in the Michael Jackson sense of the way. I mean, my heart's touched. I mean, I feel. I'm like, my God, thank you for the friends on eBay. You know, on eBay, YouTube. You know, stuff like that. So I'm just, I'm beside myself. Thank you, Jason. I'm gonna make a video on it or something. I just, uh, I gotta quit talking. I'm just saying the same fucking gibber gobble over and over.